World-class baseball is, are you ready for this folks? A baseball game for the TurboGrafx-16. Yeah, weren't expecting that one, huh? Not only that, but it is the only baseball game for the TurboGrafx-16. <laughs> the Japanese PC Engine had a bunch of games based on America's favorite pastime, and TurboPlay advertised the soon-to-be-released TV Sports Baseball in early 1992. And here, check this out. They even did a full-page review of it. <laughs> but it never materialized. So, we are left with one. World Class Baseball. An American translation of the first Power League, originally on the PC Engine. And, lucky for us, it is pretty well done. Let's start with the option screen that allows for a handful of different modes. The versus mode is for a two player game. So all you'll need is a turbo tap, a second controller and a bud. Well, got the first two. <laughs> Let's move on. The open mode is a one player, one game versus the computer. And the Pennant Mode is a one-player, multiple tournament game versus the computer. Watch Mode is a computer simulated game that you can... watch. <laughs> Finally, Edit Mode allows you to change the starting order before you begin. Next is choosing a team. As you can tell, the game has all original teams, so there are no major league tie-ins. Unless, of course, this season, MLB added the Fries into one of the divisions. <laughs> After that selection, a regular game of baseball begins. You have two screens. The main screen from the batter's point of view, and the field screen from up top. Without getting into too much detail, the basic baseball video game moves are all here, including bunting, base stealing, bat swinging, Pitching, zigzag ball controlling, and batter hitting. Oop. Wait, 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 no, no, no that, that, that one you, you shouldn't do. <laughs> Overall, the controls are pretty solid, and you'll find yourself easily timing swings, the intensity of the swings, and the pitching speed and altitude. Now, if you just want to play a game of baseball and not worry about stats and substitutions, that can be done here pretty well. But, if you like to use strategy and really manage your team, there are some really good options. No matter who you pick, I did notice a difference in how they pitched. Pitchers also do get tired, and as they wind down, the ball doesn't zig and zag as before. So using a substitute pitcher is a key defensive strategy. And, let's not forget the pinch hitters, the unsung heroes. World Class Baseball was released in 1989, right at the beginning of the TurboGrafx launch in America. So, the Bases Loaded series on the Nintendo is probably a good example of how a game like this would be executed back then. Well, World Class Baseball easily stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with those games. With the color capability of the Turbo, the green of the grass really jumps out of the screen. The overall graphics are nice and everything is pretty sharp. Pop flies and home runs tend to almost smash through the screen, which is a neat little touch. I can't say anything stands out amazingly well, but it's all represented nicely. The sound is okay with the simple crack of the bat and bass sliding effects. You hear the umpire mumble some sounds that probably equal out and safe. <laughs> the music, though, is great. The regular theme sticks in your head, and the intensity of it increases as the runners get into scoring position. As I mentioned earlier, the control is really good, and for a sports game, this is a definite must. So, World Class Baseball is overall a great game, but there are a few foul balls. <laughs> Gif, get it, foul, foul balls? <sighs> 
The ball's shadow is confusing, and your character will often not be in the right place to catch it. The shadow should indicate where the ball will land, but instead goes for more of a sunlight shadow realism, and ugh, I hate that. It gets me every time. Of course, the computer does it perfectly. Sometimes the outfielders seem a little too slow, and the throwing around the bases is also snail-like, making a double play almost impossible. You can also learn the weak points in the computer's AI, which comes in handy when sneaking yourself around the bases. These minor gripes don't change the fact that World Class Baseball is a really great example of a solid, non-licensed baseball game from the late 80s. It is just a fun game to play, and come on, with teams like the Winds and the Togas, <laughs> how can you go wrong? Overall, nothing truly stands out in World Class Baseball. It is essentially an amalgam of everything that was great about this particular era of baseball games. Since it is truly the only baseball game on the system, I am happy to report that they did a solid job making sure it was a worthy one. Tight controls, fun options, addicting gameplay, and teams like the Apples and the Ninjas make this a home run.